Hello. If you've ever read a popular astronomy text or a book, you'll likely come across the unit light years to measure your distances. But occasionally, especially if you read scientific text, you will often come across the term parsecs. So, what is a parsec? Well, in simple terms, it's a unit of distance equal to approximately 19 trillion miles, or about 31 trillion kilometers. So that is 31 with 12 zeros on. Now obviously because the distances are so large between the stars, we do need a very large unit to describe the distances. But why such an arbitrary number? So the first thing to realize is that the word parsec is actually made up of two parts. So the par bit actually is short for parallax and the sec is short for arc second or second of arc. So in order to work out what a parsec is you'll need to know what these two parts actually mean. So first of all parallax. Well in simple terms parallax is the change in angle that we observe when we look at an object from two different positions. So the simplest way to look at this is if you hold your arm out in front of you and alternatively close your right and left eye, you'll see your finger will appear to move relative to the background depending on which eye you're looking through. So what we've done is we've changing the position of our observing and we're looking at it at a very slightly different angle depending on which eye we're looking through. And the important thing about parallax is that the further away our object is, the less it appears to move, the smaller angle it appears to move by. Now, obviously, when we come to measuring distances in space, uh, looking from only a few centimetres apart with a different eye, the difference in the angle is going to be absolutely tiny, just unmeasurable. So we're going to need to find a way of increasing the distance between our observing sites. So the first obvious place we could look is if we looked at two different observers on the Earth. So we could send someone to one part of the Earth and to the other. And then we saw that all of a sudden we've increased this distance to maybe 12,000 kilometers. So that's quite a big baseline, but actually when it comes to measuring objects in space, they're really far away. Um, so we need an even bigger baseline than that. It turns out we can go a lot better than this. So if we observe one object in January and another six months later in July, say, then the Earth has actually completed half an orbit. Now the Earth orbits roughly 93 million miles from the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. So all of a sudden, we've actually generated a baseline between our observations of about 186 million miles, or roughly 300 million kilometers. Now it turns out that is just about a big enough baseline that we can start to see some movement in the nearby stars. Now the angle is very small but with sensitive equipment we can just about measure it. And, as I said before, the further away an, an object is the less it moves. So we can actually use parallax to work out with a reasonable degree of accuracy just how far away a star is. So that is parallax. So what about the other part, the arc second bit? Well, an arc second or a second of arc is a unit of angle and it is equal to one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. So just like with time, one degree is split into sixty minutes of arc or arc minutes and one minute is split into 
60 seconds of arc or arc seconds. So when we put it together, a parsec is the distance where the angle of parallax is equal to one arc second. So how far away is that? Right, so to work out the distance, we are going to need to use a little bit of trigonometry. But because the angle we're talking about is extremely small, we can use a nice approximation. So if we can express the angle in radians, we can use a clever small angle approximation. We know that the distance we're calling one parsec is the baseline divided by the angle. So uh, to convert to radians, all we need to do is take the angle in degrees, multiply it by pi, and divide it by 180. So when we do this, we find we've got an angle of about 206 thousandths of a radian. So one parsec is equal to roughly 206,000 times the Earth's orbital distance, which is roughly 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. So when we actually work it out, we get 19 trillion miles or 31 trillion kilometers. So that's why it's an arbit a seemingly arbitrary figure. It's actually the distance that our parallax is one arc second. So in other units of measurements, one parsec is approximately um, three and a quarter light years. And it's important to note that the nearest star is actually further than one parsec away. Now to give you an idea of just how far away that is, if you were to set off in a car and try and travel at a steady speed of about 65 miles an hour for the distance of one parsec, if you did a little round trip there and back, um, it would take you about 65 million years. So if you'd have set off 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs would still be ruling on the Earth. Even the fastest spaceship we've got, currently leaving the solar system, which is Voyager 1, that'll still take roughly 60,000 years to travel one parsec. So, if we are going to want to travel between the stars, we're going to have to build something a lot faster. Okay, so thanks for watching.